Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd bring you a video talking about the factory upfitter switches for GM's trucks. So do you own or are you looking at a 2015 to 2019 heavy duty model in either the GMC Sierra or the Chevrolet Silverados 2500 HDs and 3500 HDs? Many of those trucks could be ordered with the factory upfitter switches. And I'll put a little picture here, but I'll show you in a second what they look like. And have you wondered, what am I going to do with these? I'm not running a plow truck or a heavy truck. I'm towing with my trailer. Well, these switches are great for running a variety of lights, whether it be upgrading your fog lights if you don't have them, uh, off-road lights, even under uh, undercarriage LEDs or additional spotlights that you might want if you go camping a lot. Now, these this video is going to cover primarily focused on the factory switches. There is a kit that can be purchased and put in after the fact for auxiliary switches. And they can also be done from what I understand on the 1500 series. But this is going to cover the factory switches because it's very, very easy. So first of all, let's take a walk over to the truck and I will show you what we're talking about. So it's actually, these are the GMC upfitter switches, which are an option when the truck is ordered. See this switch bank. In a lot of the trucks, they will have two or three switches for your uh, traction control here and the rear cargo light. This has the additional switches where there's four auxiliary switches. We've actually tied into auxiliary one here for our fog lights as this truck didn't have it. And it's a great way to upgrade without having extra switches on board. Now, all right. First thing to cover is that you will have... A junction box here underneath we've removed the cover this is what the cover is going to look like there are two locks on the one side one on the other you're going to be able to reach these two locks because of the parking brake this one's going to be a little difficult so you'll need uh, a thin long screwdriver makes it easy to pop that out this junction box then has this area here that normally you would purchase uh, an adapter, a special little connector. And if you're in the U.S. and watching this, there's a number of uh, suppliers, upfitter suppliers, that can actually make the harness up for you at a relatively inexpensive cost. If you're watching this from Canada, it's a little harder to find. And even the GM parts dealers aren't that well um, spoken on this upfitter switch situation. So in our case, because we were looking to hook up one and it was going to be having to buy a bunch of pins, connect wires, et cetera, et cetera, for one connection, we've gone ahead and just actually put a connector on the end of our power wire and right onto the actual prong itself which is really what the switch is doing. Now, be cautious when you do this. Do this at your own risk. A GM dealer will tell you to buy the proper part. So I'm going to advise you, you know, this is being done at your own caution. This is now hooked up. That top prong is actually pin number 20 and it is for auxiliary switch number one. I'll show you the technical bulletin and I'll post a link to the upfitter website if you have one of these trucks to help out. What's nice is this wire comes through a special spot in the firewall and I'll show you where that is in the engine compartment that comes as part of this option. Now you could test these prongs if you're not sure you can't find the upfitter um, technical bulletin, you can test these with a 12 volt tester or a multimeter to see which has power, which doesn't. The auxiliary switches are set up in the 2500 series and 3500 series 
to have power to the four prongs for the auxiliary switch only when the key is in and on. Whether the truck is running or it's an accessory position, then you will have power. There are a couple of live prongs in there that have regular full power. I'm not going to get into that. Just be cautious with those. So you can hook it up. What this will do is if you're running fog lights, instead of having to run wiring and a relay and, you know, connect to the battery and then connect to a fuse location, this is already equipped in your truck if you have the upfitter switches. So what we've done for safety, connected that fog light, we've put a, a 50, or sorry, a 10 amp fuse because we're going to run LED fog lights and they're only going to use about three amps of power combined. Let's go over to our engine bay and we will show you this. Now, the, the grommet location where you can come through on your 2500 series or 3500 series is right here. You'll actually see that I've pulled the loom back that I've put a little. You can see our blue wire going in. You just snip or cut. Be very careful when you do it. A little opening and you can feed your wire in. It will probably take you two, three, maybe even five times of trying to fish the wire through to find that right spot where it's going to pass all the way through. So be patient and that will feed inside from the compartment. Now in our case, we've loomed up our wires here and it's all ready to go. So let's actually show you a benefit. Sorry, I'm just moving our extra lighting, a benefit of doing this and help you understand what the switches are for. I'm gonna put the, this down for a moment. Okay, a little hard to take the fuse cover off with uh, one hand. So when you pop open your main fuse box in your truck, you're going to notice that there's la all your fuses are labeled in the amperage. Now the advantage of an outfitter switch is not having to do this. Run in an add a circuit to run something. Now, this out of circuit is actually for our under hood light so that it turns on with ignition. If you didn't want it on ignition, as an example, that could have been run into that junction box and put on one of those switches. But what you're going to see here, there's a couple of fuses here, a couple of fuses here, and then I believe these are three of the four relays for the upfitter switch. So normally when you're adding lights, whether it be uh, light bars, fog lights, your wiring would come up and you'd have a relay that would be connected that helps regulate high and lower voltage, giving you some protection. The upfitter switches don't require that. Because you have relays for every switch, you need your ground and your power and your fuses and your relays are already here. So it simplifies the installation greatly and allows you to have four switches. If you're buying the aftermarket kit, it's gonna do something similar because you're gonna to have to get the relays and fuses installed in a fuse box or upgrade your fuse box if you're looking at the um, after install kit. Uh, it's still a factory kit, but not installed at the factory and doesn't have the toggle buttons. They're little push buttons. Basically, you're going to have the same thing, but that's the advantage of the upfitter switches. Your relays are here. Your fuses are here. You're not having to use add a circuits like this to run accessories. Much cleaner, much simpler install. I hope that's helped explain the upfitter switches a little bit and um, that way you understand. Now, let me show you, I'll take you back inside the truck here, and I'm gonna show you the bulletin and also make you aware of another item. Your upfitter switches, even if nothing is connected, so auxiliary two, I've just turned it on, is connected to nothing right now. That little light will light up. 
Now, auxiliary one, we have our fog lights. It'll connect, turn on our fog lights if our key was on, if our ignition was on. Right now, it's off, so nothing happens. The bulletin that covers this for 2500 series and 3500 series trucks at the time of this filming is 115F. I will put a notation of that. And this just outlines what the different pins are. The ones in pink are your auxiliary switches. The ones in yellow are actually um, connect pins that can be used for other items, whether you'll notice ba a battery positive or an accessory voltage. Uh, there's even a speed vehicle speed sensor. And then the other item I want to point out to you, our viewers, is when you look at the bulletin, this is out of order in pages, but when you look at the bulletin, you're going to see this connector. And it's going to tell you where the pins are labeled, what number pins are labeled. What you want to remember, because if you look at this picture and what I described where p pin 20 is, here pin 20 is on the left, and in the junction box it's on the right. The one thing you need to know if you're new to electrical and looking at some of these diagrams, they are showing you the connector as if you were looking at it, not as if it's connected. So when you go to connect it, this connector would be rotating around and snapping down. So just when you go to do your wiring or check it, if you don't have a multimeter and you're going based on this, remember that you're looking at the base of it that would be snapping into the truck, not from overhead. It's not an overhead view. It's essentially an under, uh, under view. And it shows you the junction box here and there's some other information as well for you depending on the usage that you're going. I'll post the link to the GM Upfitter website. I hope that that has helped give some information because I know when I first purchased the truck and started thinking about these upfitter switches recently, there's not a ton of information out there. GM tries to encourage that it is uh, a dealer only install situation, not a do it yourselfer. The bulletins will say that not a do it yourselfer. If you're not comfortable with electrical, you don't do a lot of work on your trucks take it into a dealer and have it done. Um, but I thought I would explain what they do, how they can be used, and the general function and hookup that maybe somebody uh, will save a bit of research. This will save someone some research time by having that information. Hope the video has helped. If you like the video, please click the like button. Subscribe, that would help us out as we're trying to grow the channel. And let me know any of your comments and feedback. Thank you very much for watching it. And again, this applies primarily to 2015 to 2019 model years. GMC Sierras, Chevy, Silverados, 2500, 3500 HD pickup trucks with the factory upfitter switches. Take care, guys.